Okay, so here's um, here's the view you get. I, I think that's going to work out pretty good. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, again. I already cleaned the the valves. Uh, they're not perfect. I didn't want to go crazy. Uh, I just use a little light uh, wire wheel action and some um, carb cleaner. Just just got them pretty clean. The seats in the head are as clean as I could get them without going really abrasive and trying to clean up, you know, perfectly. Really all I'm concerned with is just freshening up the seal. The, the valves have been out of the head all, you know, for months now. So I just wanted to, to freshen that up. So here's how I've been doing it. Um, again, with all my videos and things, there's probably another way. Um, I've been shooting the uh, stem with a little bit of oil. If I can get the oil to come out here. By the way, if uh, if you guys don't have one of those little oil squirters like I was just using, I don't know if it'll if I can focus in on it. It's just one of these deals. Oh my god, it comes in handy for putting clean oil on things. Um, just it makes it doesn't make a mess. You can control how much. Just for just for random things that you're looming up. So, all right. So we got some uh, Permatex valve grinding compound. And we're just gonna paint the seat area. I don't. I didn't use too much. It's just I don't think I have to do too much. So just all the way around the edge. And then carefully drop it in. And then this is the tool you use for just hand lapping. It's old school. Um, just a piece of wood with two suction cups on each end. And it was like five dollars at AutoZone or something. It works for what it is. Some guys attach valves or uh, sorry drills to the stem. Uh, apparently, there's an older tool that you can use for this also that works well that kind of does the job. But for what I'm doing, this will be perfect. So push the suction cup down on the valve. Take your two hands and you just want to kind of go back and forth. And what you're listening for here is you can hear how gritty that sounds. What you're going to do is listen for the change in the sound. You'll hear it. Um, and I don't know if the video will pick it up, but it'll go from a <laughs> to more of a s s like a smooth slide. And when that happens, what you want to do is, is lift up and plop back down. And what that does is any of that ac extra grinding compound that's on there will get sucked in and then you'll be able to do a little bit more um, and then kind of assess it after that. This way you don't have to pull it out, put more on each time. But that's how I've been doing it. So listen to see if you can hear the hear the change. Right there, it changed. So. Sometimes the suction cup comes off. You can really hear that transition. And that's it. That's all I wanted to do. Um, once you're done with that, you can pop it out. And then I've just been wiping it down because you, you don't want, uh, obviously, you don't want valve grinding compound to be floating around in your motor. I don't think that would uh, necessarily be the best. Um, so you want to make sure you wipe it out. And before I put the valves in, I, I did a real good cleaning, which I'll do on this one too, just to get make sure all the stuff is out of there. What you're looking for when you're done is a nice, even, and I'm not sure if this will focus, probably will, uh, a nice, even, seat area and you'll be able to tell what which is the seat area when you look at it because it'll be the only thing that really got affected by the grinding compound um, and then you also want to check the seat in the head to make sure that you don't have a spot where there's still carbon in the in the seat track because that means that it didn't uh, you know there was a spot there that didn't quite touch um, so this looks really good. It's nice and uniform. There's no pitting. It, it's, it feels like it's prepped nicely. So I'm going to be done with that one and move on to the exhaust. Um, this is a pain in the butt. It, it goes, it goes pretty quick. I mean, it, um, it's actually seems like it's taking longer now because I'm sweating in here. I turned the fan off like a dummy. Um, put a little oil on it. 
drop her in. This is the last one I'll show you guys. This is not, not that much to see here. For this one, I used the smaller suction cup. And the, the exhaust valves are kind of a pain because I really couldn't get all of the deposits off the face of the valve, nor did I feel like it was necessary. And um, it just doesn't let the suction cup stick. I mean, hardly at all right now. So let's do the best I can. That one went really quickly. Oops. Come on, man. One of those tools that you see them use on television or in shops um, that you never think, you always think, ah, why would I ever need that, um, is a head fixture. The, the, they're basically like two dowels that stick up, or a few dowels that stick up. I think they, they ride in the bolt holes and it just holds the head. And you know what? I really wish I had one of those right now because you can probably see this thing's kind of teeter-tottering all over the place. This one's really, of course, this is the one I picked to show you. It's, it's only taking like a half a turn to get going. And that's that. That's uh, that's as far as I'm going to go with these. I mean, it's nice and even all the way around. I don't know. I did read somewhere that if you go too far with lapping compound, if you just go crazy with lapping and um, put in a drill and just brrr, go crazy. I've heard that you can actually cause the seat to go a little concave, which I would think you'd really have to go crazy with it to do that. But um, so I would err on the side of caution, not do it that way. But all right, next up is I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of these, not bore you with that. And then I'm going to do valve seal install and valve spring install.